Yeah, he's probably not uh, happy about that shot. From 26 feet. And for the par. And Luke, as we get ready to fire up the back nine here, I'm wondering if you could enlighten us as to what's been happening elsewhere on the leaderboard. John, the leader's at four under, which is pretty impressive, but it's a score that can be beaten. And let's see what the 10th has in store. And he's taking this one through some branches. And he's probably not too happy about that. Well, back into the fairway now. And the green is definitely in play. Fifteen feet away here. And this putt is for bogey. And now let's take a look at the action on the leaderboard. And after that hole, nothing changes uh, in the standings for them. Still in second place. And now setting up on this par three. And that approach has found the green, but uh, quite far away from the hole at this point. Ooh, just missing here. And this one's about three feet from the cup. And that putt drops for par. And they will stay in second place after that hole. Next up is a par four, folks. And he's probably not too pleased with that. And uh, that's a, a bit of bad luck. He's in the water here. And this shot he's taken through the branches.
this one's about three feet away. And it looks like he uh, moved down in the rankings after that hole. And the wind definitely could be a factor on this one. Let's see how this tee shot goes. And uh, nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway here. And about 155 yards out. I think he'll be happy with that. And this putt is for birdie. Oh my, and that was, that was just fun to watch. And he's gonna go down to even par after that hole. And he is currently tied for fifth place on the leaderboard. And setting up now on the 14th hole. And unfortunately, he's ended up in the water here. And he's taking this through some brush here. And this one's about four feet from the cup. And that one will drop. And as we look at the leaderboard today, the, uh, the score to beat is currently at three under par. And moving on to the 15th here. Looks like he's going through the branches here on this one. And as he sets up for his next shot, deep in the rough here, folks. setting up about 12 feet away. And that one will drop for bogey. And currently sitting at plus three for the day after that hole. And now setting up on the 16th tee.
I can't see him being uh, very happy about that. And uh, sensing something was off on that swing. This putts for birdie. And finishing this hole out with a solid putt. And after that hole, he is moving up on the leaderboard. And he will like that. Okay, and setting up on the 17th tee. And I doubt he's very happy about that shot. And setting up 13 feet from the cup here. Ooh, and just inches away from greatness. And this putt is for par. And no change for him leaderboard wise after that hole. And as he tees off here on the final hole, he's five strokes off the lead. Not sure what's going to happen here. And nothing wrong with that shot from about 120 yards. Ah, poor luck on that approach shot. Bit too much club on that. Fourteen feet away. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. And as his round comes to an end, uh, nothing in particular blew me away by his performance, but uh, curious as to your thoughts, Luke. Yeah, well, they managed to get a score out of this one, but it wasn't outstanding, was it? So much golf left to be played, though. If they can just get a bit more of a rhythm going, look out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure to bring the coverage to you today, but make sure you tune in tomorrow.